Russia continues to suffer heavy losses in its war of aggression in Ukraine. Some 1,310 Russian servicemen were killed during the hostilities in the past day, grinding Moscow's total combat losses to 576,000 people since the start of its full-fledged invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported on Monday. In a post on its official Facebook page, the General Staff stated that Russia also suffered losses in terms of military equipment in the past day. According to the agency, Ukrainian armed forces destroyed 12 Russian tanks, 8 armored combat vehicles, 74 artillery systems, 2 multiple launch rocket systems, 39 operational and tactical drones, 1 cruise missile, 62 vehicles and tanker, and 19 special equipment during the battles in the past day. Overall, Russian armed forces have lost 8,356 tanks, 16,103 armored combat vehicles, 16,010 artillery systems, 1,129 multiple launch rocket systems, 906 air defense systems, and 363 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 12,805 operational and tactical drones, 2,406 cruise missiles, 28 ships and boats, 1 submarine, 21,634 vehicles and tankers and 2,690 special equipment since its war of invasion in the neighboring country. Kremlin has not publicized the number of its military losses in Ukraine. According to Ukrainian media reports, Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine are three times higher than those of Ukraine. Russia faces a problem with producing new equipment. It has to decommission and modernize old Soviet weapons, says Andriy Yusov, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. Still, we are talking about providing modern means, modern weapons, modern equipment. Basically, the enemy is focused on the decommissioning and modernization of old Soviet weapons. It drives, it shoots, but it is still a problem, he said. According to the intelligence officer, Russia has a problem with the production of new equipment, particularly because of sanctions policy. Access to modern electronic systems, modern optics, communication systems. The enemy really has a big problem with all of this, Yusuf added. Back in November last year, the defense intelligence said that Russia was modernizing its KH-22 missiles, which they were converting into KH-32. In the same month, Russian troops allegedly used modified RBK-500 cluster bombs near the village of Staromayorsk, Donetsk region. Rather, this new modification is the modernization of the FAB-3000, in which Russia has probably built a new module. Before modernizing these bombs, Russia used them to bomb Mariupol and in the war in Afghanistan. Western analysts report that Russia has decommissioned weapons accumulated during the Soviet era, but up to 70% of old tanks have not been moved and the rest have been refurbished and passed off as new. The Russians are also removing artillery barrels from old equipment and installing them on self-propelled howitzers. If this continues, Russia will reach a critical point of depletion in 2025. According to most intelligence estimates, Russia lost about 3,000 tanks and 5,000 other armored vehicles in the first two years of the war. The Dutch open-source intelligence website Oryx estimates the number of Russian tank losses with photographic or video evidence at 3,235, but suggests that the real figure is much higher. Alexander Goltz, an analyst at the Stockholm Center for East European Studies, says that Russian ruler Vladimir Putin should be grateful to the USSR for the huge stockpiles of weapons that were accumulated during the Cold War.